Hi everybody, uh, Kai Waza with you, John, and uh, time to do a little candle haul video. Did a little candle shopping today, but I have to tell you about this tea that I'm drinking. Iced tea. Mm. It's from Teavana. Have you ever heard of them? We have one at our all in one mall called Spump <laughs> Spumpkin Pumpkin Spice Brulee. I have to tell you. I've never paid this much for tea. It was like $42 for this six ounce tin of tea. But it is the best tea I've ever had in my entire life, ever. Uh, it has like little white chocolate pieces in it that melt when you brew it. It's really delicious hot and I made some iced. Uh, and I'm just uh, really getting into the autumnal Thing, even though I'm in Hawaii. I love it. Love it. Anyway, so uh, two sales were going on. We had a, a Yankee Candle sale, which I did not participate in because the shipping, because it's online and the shipping cost to Hawaii is really high. And uh, so, and I was unable to do that. And there was a whole scandal involved with this Yankee Candle glitch sale and double couponing and everything. But doesn't involve me because I never am able to shop there online, but it's very scandalous. Very interesting to hear about. So, but there also was at uh, Bath and Body Works a sale of their candles. You know, buy one, get one free, which is, you know, we're all happy about. And then I also had the email that had a coupon for 25% off your total purchase. So my intention was to go down there and get, I have a lot of autumn candles already. Like, I think I'm pretty much set to go through Thanksgiving with autumn candles. So my intention was to go in and get holiday ones. Um, you know, get four or six or something holiday ones to get me started on holiday season. But um, like many other YouTubers, I'm not, was not like blown away with their holiday offerings so far. Um, I mean, there's some nice things, but nothing really made me just go super wow. But uh, that I had seen thus far. So I actually only ended up getting two holiday candles and then I ended up getting some more autumn and some other stuff. So, but it was such a good deal I couldn't pass it up because with the, uh, they're normally, what are they, 22.50 now or 24? Or I don't even know what they are normally now, 22.50? Plus uh, it's buy one get one free and I had a coupon for 25% off. So that brings them down to 844 a piece. So that's good. I'd be kind of foolish not to buy some. Because I do have a little space in my candle closet because I have been burning things. So I got a little space there. I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, first off, I got, I, I must say, I do like the, the uh, labels on the holiday ones. Um, vanilla Snowflake. And this one is kind of just vanilla, right? Creamy vanilla, wintry mint, and a dash of coconut. That's some tiny little dash of coconut. Yeah, I guess there's a little bit. It's nice, you know, it's okay. It's not anything to get super excited about. Um, the other one I got, though, I actually was kind of excited about. I mean, I could have gotten fresh balsam, but I already have a fresh balsam, and that's one of the best candles in the world to me, but I don't need, like, 20 of them. I know some people do, but I don't. Uh, the one, this one, I, I, I don't think they had it in. Um, one of the sales associates at... Uh, helped me said, yeah, this was a, actually a new scent. I don't know. Um, it's called Alpine Cheer um, with the snowflake lid. And this is nice. I'll tell you, this is really nice. It is like a kind of a evergreen, well, it says cedar, cedar wood bark, mountain balsam, and snow white cranberry. And I get all of that. I mean, this is a nice, fresh, wintry foresty, evergreeny kind of thing. Really nice, pretty wax color. So I was uh, happy about this one. Alpine Cheer. I like it. Little mittens on the cover. Okay, then, well, this time I didn't, uh, my store, for whatever reason, did not get the, uh, as far as the fall ones go, they never got pumpkin milkshake, and they were very late getting pump apple pumpkin pancake, which I kind of wanted, and they had a sale wall before, and they had gotten this in, but I didn't get it because they didn't have anything else that I didn't already have that I wanted, so I just let it go. But today I thought, okay, I'll get apple pumpkin pancakes. It, you know, it's a great 
waffly pancakey smell, a little brown sugar, a little, little bit of apple. I'm loving the color, so I don't know. This one seems to have been well liked, so we'll see. I'm happy I finally got it. And the other one I got that I did, I didn't even really know about. I don't know what this line is called, but it's White Barn, and they have it with like Thanksgiving ones. You know those new Thanksgiving ones they have with the really pretty glass that's like etched, and uh, it's all old scents. I mean, it's not a new scent, um, and it's a little bit smaller than the regular one. So I didn't get that, even though they were pretty, and they were part of the sale, by the way. Uh, but this one, <coughs> White Barn Welcome Autumn Spiced Wreath. Now, my, my memory, my scent memory is not really as great as some people's are, so um, it seems unlikely that this would be actually a totally new scent. I don't exactly recall it. This is really fabulous. This is so fabulous. It's uh, fresh balsam sprigs, cinnamon bark, and ground clove. You definitely get the clove, the spices, and the, uh, you know, the wreath, the evergreen wreath smell. I'm really, really digging this one um, a lot. And I'm really happy I got this one. I really like it. And then the other two, oh, lastly, I actually got, I have a friend of mine that visits once in a while. She lives on an otter island and she has workshops and classes and stuff that she's required to come to Honolulu for. And so we always get together once in a while when she's here and have lunch or dinner or sometimes she camps camps out here if it's like an early morning workshop or something instead of, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, and she was looking at my candle cabinet the last time she was here and says, well, if you ever want to give one away, I would like this one. And it was lemon verbena. She really likes lemon, lemon. And uh, that's the only lemon verbena I have and I haven't burnt it yet. So I was not going to be like, oh, here, take it. I'm like, no. Oh, I'll remember that. But I kind of had let that slip, and then when I was at this sale today, you know, they always have the limoncello by themselves away from the rest of the candles uh, for what, with the limoncello stuff. And I thought, oh, limoncello, I kind of wanted to get one of those myself because it's a, it's a much stronger lemon than the lemon verbena. And it is a little bit alcohol-ish. So I, got, I really like limoncello, the drink, and this does smell like it. And so I got two because I'm like I got one for me and I got one for my friend so next time she comes I can give this to her uh, I want to backtrack just for a minute though about this these new scents a new I don't know <coughs> Alpine Cheer uh, the White Barn Welcome they're similar okay they are similar not exactly identical but similar but what I really wondered about this one is I thought you know, they're kind of like, I remember Mary Mistletoe being something I liked and being something similar to this. Kind of balsam, cranberry-ish something. I don't know if it's exactly one of these is exactly the same thing. I'm not sure. But it, I remember this other one that I bought at one of the last sales, the Cork and Vine Collection, Harvest Gathering. What's this one say? Cinnamon leaves, Chris asked, apple, and a touch of tart cranberry. But I was thinking... This actually smells kind of similar to them, too, although I guess it isn't really balsam. But it kind of has the other notes in it. I don't know. I'm getting very confused sometimes, right, with these Bath and Body Works candles. But I will say these two are very similar. This one is heavier smelling like I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be more of a throw this one seems of a bit of a lighter scent in both the way it will throw and the scent itself but they are similar so if you like them you don't necessarily have to get them both but if you're a completist which I'm not but if you are you do anyway so like I said the total came out to a little over eight yeah 844 for each candle so that was good and uh yeah, I had a, a nice experience today, and I hope you're having a nice autumn and you have a good Halloween. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, still, but we'll see. So have a good uh, have a good evening. We'll talk to you later.